All right, guys, how's it going? Sheldon here, Fit Code. Welcome, Fit Code family. Want to chat with you guys today about some awesome calorie crushing combos. I got this, um, that name from a good friend of mine, BJ Gador. Um, and I love the concept. Well, the concept is something we already do, but I love the naming of the calorie crushing combos. Triple C, all right? And I'm gonna take that triple C concept and apply it to our triple A program, right? Our abs, arms, and uh, 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 you know what I'm about to say. I don't want kids maybe watching, so I don't want them to, uh, you know, I don't want you to get upset because I say that word. Um, and it doesn't fall out of my mouth naturally either. So, um, so I'm gonna show you four different ones. All right, um, the benefits of them and how they will help out. So first off, I want to talk about abs. Right? We all know the same. Abs are made in the kitchen. So the other day, um, and I often see these little postings where people are like, I'm gonna do 30 sit-ups today, and then tomorrow is 40, and then so many crunches, and so many this and that. So when it comes to abs being made in the kitchen, like you can do all the sit-ups and crunches that you want. If the nutrition isn't right, then your abs will not be able to show. So it's very important that nutrition has to be right. And then from there, we can start to add on other exercises that will help help them show, help them shine a little bit. It's kind of like you, you make your cake, probably not the right analogy to use right now, right? We make your cake and then the workouts are the icing on the cake to make it pretty and make it taste just a little bit better, right? Um, so that's what we want to think about. And we don't do crunches or sit-ups here because those are, aren't are necessarily the best for your back, all right? So I'll leave you, cause you more pain, cause more harm than good. So keep those things in mind. That's why we don't do cranes and sit-ups, but it's great ways, some great ways to work and integrate the abs into all your workouts. So, um, first thing I'm gonna show you guys is a body saw to a walking plank. So, we're gonna work anterior core mainly, all right? So we're gonna work on what we call anti-stitches. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna tuck our hips under, just like so, and decrease that distance between the belly button and um, between the bottom of the rib cage and the belly button. We're gonna shift ourselves back to where we comfortably can, come back, elbows over shoulder, and we're gonna come up to the top of the plank position, hand replaces the elbow, elbow replaces the hand, and repeat. So now we're getting that core really integrated, all right? Um, and when we come back up out of that plank position, now we're adding in some triceps, to get those guns looking nice and great for the summer when you're resting on the beach with your bow slides, doing your body saws out there. All right, next thing I'm gonna show you guys is our bridge. So we're gonna do a glute bridge with a press and a tricep extension. So we're gonna work glutes, a little bit of chest in there, all right, some shoulders. We're also gonna get some triceps again. So use a kettlebell, use dumbbell, pair of dumbbells, any one of those will work. Heels are up, we're gonna press our hips our belly button up to the ceiling without letting our ribs flare here, all right? So keep that distance between the bottom of the rib cage and hips down. We're gonna press up and we're gonna hinge at the elbows, bring that kettlebell back behind the head, come back over chest, bring it back down and bring the hips down. So now we're integrating glutes, triceps, shoulders, chest, all into one for a great calorie crushing combo. If you wanna make it a little more challenging, you can also put a resistance band, a mini band above the knees. So now we get a little more glute activation into that exercise as well. Next up, we're gonna show you the bird dog row. All right, so bird dog row. We're gonna set up on a bench, opposite arm, opposite leg, in a nice bird dog position, nice straight line, shoulders, hips, and knee. And we're gonna take that kettlebell or dumbbell and hold it off to the side. So now what this kettlebell is trying to do is trying to get me to turn my body or rotate. So we're preventing that rotation as we are rowing, all right? So place your toe on or you can keep it off the edge. Add our spine, nice straight line, shoulder, hips, and knee. And as we are rowing, so we're preventing that rotation, the core has to work nice and hard to challenge that so those obliques are working to prevent that rotation um, during that bird dog row. You get back, you get 
A um, little bit of bicep as well, a little back of the shoulders as well, all integrated into the core. Um, and then, last thing I'll show you guys is a split squat to a overhead press. There's different ways to do this. Take kettlebell, dumbbell, rubber aim into the rack position, one foot forward, one foot back. So we're going to stationary split squat. We're going to drop down and we'll come down to the bottom of the split squat and you can either go both overhead or you can go alternate one and one and come up come down so you can go one and one and come up or if you want to focus a little more on the shoulders because if i stand down here it's going to get a little more legs a little more glutes because i have more time under tension at that bottom position or i can go a little bit heavier and do my presses at the top, I want to get a little more emphasis on the shoulders because if I'm sitting at the top, I'll be a little bit stronger. So that is essentially like a moving side plank. So as I, especially if I'm doing the alternating, my core really has to stabilize to keep me from rocking back and forth. And then it's also like a regular plank because now I have to keep myself from extension here. All right. So if I'm doing that properly, my core is essentially getting almost a 360 effect in terms of working, all right? So that is our split squat to a red press. I'll show you guys one more. It's a bonus one. Easy one, simple. Chris and Sarah already have Beverly. And they showed this one to me. We'll see how it works out. We'll include it in the next phase right after the uh, sandbag nap. So we're here, legs are in L position. You're gonna pull up, you're gonna rotate out, come down, and come down nice and slow. That's one, you do about 30 of those, knock those out real quick, and you'll be good to go, all right? So other than that guys, bring it, calorie crushing combos to work, lower body, upper body, some great things as well, and a great into your own AAA program or come to ours on Saturdays. Bring it.